Aurora's police chief says an officer tackled a 14-year-old, taking him to the ground before another officer shot him in an alley behind a mini mart. Jordell Richardson's family watched body camera video of his death today. Police say he and a group of other kids robbed a mini mart Thursday afternoon. Officers chased Jordell, then shot and killed him. Nine News reporter Cole Sullivan is outside of Aurora Police Headquarters as the chief just released new information today. Cole. Yeah, Kim, uh, Aurora Police Chief Art Acevedo says that Jordell told responding officers that others in the group forced him to rob that mini mart. His dying words, apparently captured on body camera, included, quote, I don't know them, and, quote, they made me do it. Joyful, funny. He loved to be with his family, his little sister, his big brother. Jordell Richardson's mom says she can't understand what happened why Aurora police shot and killed her 14-year-old son. But whatever the situation was, my son did not have to get murdered. There are no words that I can express. This morning, the chief told her and us new information about the situation. He says a sergeant in the gang unit spotted Jordell and others wearing hoodies and masks near this mini mart Thursday afternoon. The sergeant called for backup. But before more officers arrived, the chief says the group held up the store, stole some vape cartridges, then scattered. Two officers chased Jordell down this alley. One tackled him to the ground. You can see uh, very quickly him and hear him yell, keep uh, get your, get your hand off the gun, words of that nature. Within seconds, the chief says, the second officer shot the teenager. Police say Jordell had a semi-automatic weapon. And they couldn't think of nothing else to do to make the situation, to help the situation, only just shoot my son in his abdomen while he's on the ground after they tackled him down. He didn't have the gun out. He wasn't waving it, none of that. Some were angry with the chief. So you're saying you're going to release the video before the officers write statements about what happened? Jordell's parents want accountability. Whatever race, nationality you are, don't let this just go. We want to emphasize right now all the on the record information we're getting is from police. We have not seen the body camera video ourselves. The family watched it today and state law actually prohibits the police department from releasing it to the public for 72 hours. The chief says he intends to release that video. The family's attorney says it'll be released at three o'clock on Friday. Some of the businesses in that area also have surveillance cameras as well. Kim, Tom. Yeah, we're so, seeing so much of this police body camera video these mm -hmm. days. They're always hard to watch. This one will be tough as well. Thank you, Cole.